Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I know a lot of you, not all of you, but many are probably getting very, very angry with God right now. With all of the devastation, the storms, the, the floodings, the earthquakes, the fires, everything that's popping off right now. And you're wondering what the heck is God doing? Crossing his arms, having a coffee break? Well, let me share something with you before you get all up in arms with God. Number one, we already handled the issue of God giving us freedom of choice. We got that. Okay. But think about this, you guys. If I am cleaning my house and I get a bottle of bleach and a bucket of water and I pour the bleach in the water, but then I turn around and add ammonia to it, to the mix, and I stir that bad boy up. If I breathe those fumes long enough, I could fall out before I even get anything clean because there's a chemical reaction. Now that's not God doing it. I did that. Human beings have made choices in this country. They play with the weather Oh, yes, they do. They manipulate it. They shoot chemtrails all over the sky. They set off all kind of explosions underground. A lot of stuff is going on that we are not told about. Because it's the money that does the ruling. And all we do is react to every consequence that comes from their choices. So before you start blaming God, remember human beings start mixing stuff up, start putting stuff into action that set off toxic chemical reactions that set off demo, uh, 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 devastations and, and destruction and tragedies, crisis, uh, uh, Oh my goodness. I, we want to get angry with God. But let me tell you, when all the dust settles, just like we wanted to get angry at the Middle Easterners for 9-11, and they start finding out through evidence, evidence now from engineers who know about this stuff, who specialize in it. There has to be a scientifically systematic way to create a demolition where the building begins to crumble on top of itself. That is never a happenstance. Ergo, it wasn't the planes that made the buildings come down. It was all the explosions that were set off before the planes hit the building. So knowing that there are underhanded schemes going on that causes death and devastation, tragedies of all kinds, before you start blaming God, look around at the money, the elite, the Illuminati, the government, the CIA, the FBI, all of that. And consider, just consider the possibility that this might be the dirty work of mankind, not God. And because God has given us freedom of choice, free will, he says, okay, you want to play dirty? Go right on ahead your choice their blood I will hold on your hands you may not see it now but you will so just because things are going wrong helter skelter does not mean God put his finger and stirred all this stuff up mankind is destroying this planet it by bit. And we're destroying each other while we're doing so. 
So, do you still want to blame God for all of this? Hmm. Mankind, we need to take responsibility for the sins, the blood stains, the lives lost, the devastation, and stop pointing the finger everywhere else but self. 